All righty, ladies. Thank you so much okay. for joining us. Um, I'm going to need you to state your names. Oh. I'm Eloise Waldron. It was Dolichuk at that time. I was. Do you hear me now? I guess. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Eloise Waldron from Marino Valley, California. All right. Class of 1952. B. Right. 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 I'm Patricia Ward Varnum. Class of 1952, B. I live in Napomo, California, on the Central Coast. And I'm Marilyn Day Child, class of 52B, and I live in Ventura, California. Really? Okay. You from Ventura? I lived there for six months. Good. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. So, uh, how old were you when you first thought about becoming a nurse? I would become I was, a nurse ever since I've been a kid. Yeah, I, I, I think I so always I wanted to be in the medical profession. I thought I'd like to be a doctor, and then I decided that it, you didn't have much home life, and so I decided to be a nurse. And I went into nurses' training. Just that's what I wanted to do forever. Yeah, yeah. And, and I've I, never been sorry. And I knew that my parents couldn't afford years and years of medical school. My father was in the Navy and had been for 40 years, and so. I knew I was going to be a nurse, I guess, from the time I was a little girl. I'm the one who always carried the first aid kit. <laughs> I always wanted to be a nurse ever since I was a kid, but it ended up that I had uh, physical problems, and so I ended up, well, I thought I'd go into teaching. Well, then my mother decided to move out west. I'm from Minnesota, International Falls, Minnesota, and she moved out west here, and I thought, I'm just going to apply here and see. So I found out from my school nurse back there, for it to apply, and that's what happened. And I got in California to California Lutheran, and Miss Kish had a phone call for me when I got out here, and ready to go in. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, how would you describe your backgrounds? You know, were you part of a big family or a small family? I was part of a family of size five children, mother and father. My father came from Ukraine, and became a citizen, and uh, so that's my background. I'm one of four, and my father was in the service for all of his working life, and we moved every place. Started moving when I was six, six weeks old, born in San Diego, California. I'm from a family of just two kids. My brother was five years older than I was, and my born in a little town in Northern California, Lincoln, and then we moved down to the Los Angeles area during World War II, and I decided that uh, I wanted to go into nurses training and, and uh, my parents were from Colorado first and, and uh, so that's what I just uh, picked the California hospital and as we went to look at two or three hospitals in the California it just seemed the great, greatest place of the bunch. And it was. <laughs> it is. All right. Uh, so uh, tell me what were, what or who were your support systems prior to coming to CHS then? My parents, because my mother thought the sun rose and showed in her daughter. In fact, my mother uh, had my picture on the mantle, and after I had graduated, she had my graduation picture there, and she bragged about it to the man that came to talk to about life insurance, and he was bragging about his son that still lived at home, and that's how I met my husband, because my mother was bragging about me. My mother actually was a patient here after... Uh, I was a graduate and, and was, had moved away from here, and uh, she was a patient here, and she died here in the hospital. And she had wonderful care then, too. Again, my parents also were my support system, and uh, the doctor next door to us. And I have a picture of him and myself when I, when I was capped, oh. and it was wonderful. Yeah. My mother and my family, my father had died before I came out here to California. But they've always been a big support, and my other sisters and my brother have all been, except my little brother and little sister at that time, they still supported me. All right. Um, let's see, what schools of nursing did you consider before coming to CHSN? The one that my school nurse had um, said that was Methodist Hospital. So I wrote a letter and told her I was Lutheran. And I'd rather go to a Lutheran hospital if there was one in Los Angeles, since that's where we're going to move to Riverside. So I got a letter, and then I was caught a phone call from Miss Kish, and that's why I was here, and enjoyed every year of it. My best girlfriend in 
San Diego and I had gone through, she's a year ahead of me in high school and she, we got done our first two years at San Diego State because we wanted to be on the degree program and she had gone to Huntington Memorial and California Hospital. She picked California Hospital and I said, that's where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I mentioned it before that I had seen some of the other hospitals and then just came to this one. But I couldn't get in until uh, into training until I turned 18. I was 17 and when I graduated from high school. So babies. I had to wait <laughs> for <our> baby <laughs> ones. <laughs> All right. Um, what do you recall of the application process? Do you know who interviewed you, whether it was an individual interview or group? I don't remember how we did it then, but I was on the faculty here for a while after I graduated and, and uh, for a year or two. And I remember that the parent people would come in and the faculty people would talk to them sometimes. It depended on who was around. I imagine then we saw Miss Nicholas <laughs> or maybe Miss Kish. Yeah, Ms. Kish I don't remember. Nicholas. Yeah. It wasn't a big, wasn't a big deal. The no. big deal was getting your uniforms fitted and buying yes. that cape and all that oh, stuff. Yeah. Which I still <laughs> have hanging in my closet. <laughs> That's right. We still have the cape. Yeah. yeah well, I had, like I said, I had a call from Miss Nicholas, and then Miss Kish is the one that interviewed me when I got there to the office. And of course, I noticed Miss Kish and all her little dogs. Do you remember those little dogs? Oh, sure. She gave little me one. Oh, that, that I that thought was those were so pretty. Nicholas. 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 Yeah, Nick, that's one that had the dogs. Anyway, yeah. enjoyed it very much. It wasn't much of an interview. We just started. And yeah. that's what we you did. had to get you had to get transcripts. Well, they had yeah. transcripts. You had to get the transcripts from your school. school. So. Yeah. Understand? We were the largest class that California Hospital had ever taken in. There were 52 of us. They didn't know what to do with us when we all <laughs> arrived. Usually, the, the class ahead of us was six. That's Gloria's class, uh -huh. and they didn't know what to do with 52. Wild women coming in to this school, we almost doubled the school. And I think we graduated 20, 29, 29 or 30. We've lost a few to different things, but we've hung in there. We were the loudest, the noisiest, the biggest, and the best. <laughs> and the best. <laughs> All right, so uh, what was California Hospital like when you arrived? Oh, God, ancient. Well, in those days, it was on a par with everything else. But I remember looking out the windows in surgery and the windows were open, they had the screens and you could look out and see the smog over LA and you don't do that anymore. I mean, rooms are either hyperbaric or they have, they're all closed and you have your own internal oxygen and I mean, air and stuff. You don't have outside air coming in and all the rest of the stuff. But then it was top of the line. Everything you were taught well, people said you, you're you not sloppy, you weren't allowed to be, to be messy. Things had to be, it was almost like the military. You had to be kind of regimented and do things the way it was planned out, not just any old haphazard way. I think that's why going to county hospital for part of our training, and we did that for uh, communicable disease, and... Neurosurgery. Oh, neurosurgery. Neurosurgery. Okay, and it was just, it was so different because it was so huge, and it wasn't like where we had come from. It was just, it was wild. <laughs> it was a much larger institution, yeah. but, but uh, we just had a very fine training because the things were done. We had to go to chapel every morning at six o'clock, whether right. we were working or not, and that was interesting. And you couldn't go in your pajamas, but <laughs> if you were good, you rolled up your pajamas and put on your coat and put on a scarf, and you went to chapel. <laughs> and I happened to be on that committee, the chapel committee, because <laughs> <laughs> you were a good Lutheran. Oh no, I didn't so. <laughs> but I think of our training here. So many times the place I worked in Riverside Community Hospital there, and then also for a doctor in the urology department, and they always said, teach these how to do sterile technique. Yeah. These other ones that graduated from, from a community house, uh, community school and that never knew sterile technique. Yeah. And I thank 
here at California Hospital that we did learn all of these. Very good. And still to remember, check your medicines three times. Three times. And I think we still do that to ourselves and our oh, family. Yeah. To this day.